I'm starving. Who's getting lunch? Oh, bags, not me. Lunch. Not me. Scissors, paper, rock? Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Yes, maths can give you a competitive edge. And I reckon with lunch at stake, the girls will jump at the chance to have the upper hand. I'm going to show them the mathematical way to win at an old favourite. Scissors, paper, rock. There was a study done by a group of Chinese mathematicians with hundreds of people, really big, and they found out two interesting things. So the first thing is when people win, they tend to repeat the thing that they won with. The study also showed that losers tend to change their play on the next go. So in the context of the game, it works like this. Say the boys play scissors and the girls play paper. The boys win. The study says winners are likely to stay with their choice for the next play. So the girls should move onto the one that wasn't played, rock. And they win. Let's look at another play. If the girls play scissors and the boys play paper, the girls win. The boys are likely to think that the girls will repeat their winning play and move on to what beats scissors, rock. So the girls should follow them around the triangle and play paper, which beats rock. Girls win again. Girls versus guys, I'm deeply suspicious. All you need to remember is that if you win, you need to play what the other person just played. And if you lost, you need to play the thing that wasn't played in that game. So for example, if we play scissors, paper, rock, you won against me, so my next move, I should play the thing that wasn't played, which is rock. Got it? I've got it. So Annie, scissors, paper, rock, you won, so you need to play scissors for your next move. Scissors, this paper. is game theory. It's the maths of the way that people behave in competitive situations. And one of the most famous mathematicians in game theory is a guy called John Nash, who won a Nobel Prize for his work in game theory in the 1950s. It's about creating a formula for how your opponent will behave. Ready, go, girls. <laughs> One for the girls, two for the girls. One for the boys, two for the boys, three for the girls, four for the girls, five for the girls. We got it. I have the lobster. Thank you very much. You could equally apply game theory to negotiating a pay rise or haggling the price on a car. Nash's ideas, the subject of the film A Beautiful Mind, are still used to predict how the economy will perform. We've performed pretty well ourselves and won ourselves some lunch. Dig in. Woo